Well, hello there everyone and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Christy and it is that time, time to get cooking. And today I am making a delicious dessert. And this is one of Adam's very favorites. So he's gonna be a happy camper when he gets home today. I'm making Mississippi mud pie. I'm not sure why they call it that. I'm guessing it has to do with the chocolate pudding that's in this dessert. I don't know, it is just so, so good. Um, this is another one of my mother-in-law's recipes. She has been making this for years and anytime she has a dinner, Adam always requests for her to make this. It's just so delicious. It's very, very easy. It uses some very basic ingredients. So let me go over those with you and show you just how to make it. So this dessert has a crust on the bottom of it and for that crust you will need one cup of flour and one cup of finely chopped pecans. And I placed my pecans in my food processor and just pulsed it a few times until they were finely chopped. And then one stick of butter. Then you will need an eight ounce package of cream cheese and one cup of powdered sugar. And then you will need your pudding. And I have one large family size box of pudding and I have a regular box of vanilla. Uh, I kind of made a mistake and got the wrong size. I should have had the larger size box of vanilla, just like the chocolate, but it'll be fine. Uh, then you'll need your milk and then 16 ounces of whipped topping. Um, I just have two of the eight ounce containers. This is the food processor that I chopped up my pecans. I'm going to go ahead and add my flour and then I'm going to add the butter and I've just cut it into pieces and I'm just going to pulse it. And then I'm going to add the pecans in and pulse it again just till that butter is worked in with the flour and pecans and then I'm going to pour my crust mixture into the bottom of a 9 by 13 baking dish and I'm going to press it down using my hands Okay, then I'm going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until that crust is golden brown. After your crust has finished baking, you will need to let it cool completely. And while my crust was cooling, I made all of my fillings, my cream cheese filling and my puddings. So let me show you how I made the cream cheese filling. So I placed my softened cream cheese in a mixing bowl and then I'm gonna add my one cup of powdered sugar. I'm just going to mix this together. And then I'm going to take one cup of the whipped cream. And I'm going to put it into the cream cheese mixture. So I'm adding the vanilla pudding to a bowl. I'm going to add one and a half cups of milk. And then in a separate bowl, I'm going to mix my chocolate pudding with two cups of milk. So I'm going to spread the cream cheese filling right on top of my crust. I'm gonna to switch to a little spreader and just be gentle with it so you don't lift up that crust on the bottom. And then I'm going to spread the vanilla pudding over top of the cream cheese. And then finally, put your chocolate on top of your vanilla. And 
and then top it with the rest of your whipped topping. All right, so I want to uh, just kind of make this look a little bit fancy. I found some dark Hershey's chocolate in my pantry. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take a microplane and I'm just gonna kind of zest some of the chocolate over top, just make it look a little bit fancy. Oh yeah, that's pretty. All right, then I'm just taking some plastic wrap, I'm gonna place over top. And I'm going to let this chill out in my refrigerator for a few hours. This is so, so yummy. So apparently I forgot to turn my microphone back on in the last couple clips. It's those little things that get me sometimes in filming, but uh, this Mississippi mud makes it all better. Mm. Well, have a fantastic day. God bless, and I will see you soon with more delicious recipes.